The ceramics unearthed on Skinwalker Ranch suggest something beyond current human technology lies buried deep in the mesa. So that begs the question, whose technology is it? Now you've taken ceramic material to the lab and you've got other experts to weigh in on this and how compelling that is. Well, I gotta tell you that uh, Dr. Patrick at the Utah Valley University was very accommodating. And not only that, he was very interested and intrigued mm. in, in what this material was doing. And I really appreciated his very open-minded approach to the, to the topic, his willingness to say, wait, I haven't seen this before. Open-minded but skeptical. Yes, Dr. Paget is a man after my own heart. I mean, this is one of those people who's willing to be caught red-handed in the act of learning, unlike so many of the academics you might encounter, not dismissing um, the exotic interpretations out of hand, just taking the data. You're there with Dr. Paget. You've got his preliminary kind of reaction to this ceramic material. And then you're using SEM. What were the thoughts behind that? Scanning electron microscopy. Well, that's really the go-to instrument in a lot of these cases with material science. We're looking for elemental composition. We can learn what is that surface made of. So going into the SEM lab, we're just looking for data. Mm. But what we came away with was stunning. I'll zoom in a little bit. I can see some clearly defined like holes right now oh yeah are those holes getting bigger yes i think so yeah, yeah. Oh, what it is it's opening up yeah what in the world is going on holy crap look at that what if it's the electron beam from the microscope that's causing this let's turn it off yeah we can do that all right, here we go. So that does not look as porous no. as it was. Not nearly. Uh, I have the old screen grab. Look at that. This is healing. I've never seen anything that is capable of doing this. This stuff is fixing itself. Yes, it's healing. That's exactly right. Unbelievable. When we started getting data returns from the scanning electron microscopy, Dr. Patchy's eyebrows were raising, and he's, well, I've never seen anything like this. What is, what's happening here? So he makes a uh, statement while we're looking at this, and he says, that I, I'm, I'm worried I've used too much power in the electron beam, and I've blown holes in it. So he turns the power off, and then he says, oh, my goodness, it's, it's healing. So think of, like, if you had a piece of paper and you shot holes yeah. in it with a BB gun, and then suddenly the paper started fixing itself. That's what he was thinking was happening. Now, does that fit in the normal parameter of a piece of ceramic? Well, you know, the ceramics that I have experience with are what we would call ultra-pure ceramics. So they may not have all of the things um, embedded in them that you would find in a ceramic that's just been pulled out of a mesa, right? Wow. So, you know, we're dealing with a material that has been embedded in that mesa potentially for either tens of years or, or even millions of years. We don't know. So what we just described to you, Maddie, was the appearance of the change. You know, that's the eye candy. Now, the brain candy part of it is what we got out of the elemental analysis. Sure. All right. All right, so this is a purely interior scan. We've got oxygen, silicon, uh, there is some magnesium, there's a calcium line. We've got potassium. Some iron, a lot of aluminum this time. No carbon this time. So the interior doesn't have carbon in it. The interior is clearly a different material than the exterior. Uh-huh. This material is a lot like a sponge or maybe an umbrella. One material on the outside for protection with another one on the inside for some different purpose. Yeah, I get it. And to what end? Yeah. It could be the exterior hull or protective layer of something, you know, to, to protect it from a harsh environment. Yeah. I mean, I keep coming back to this is a lot like the ceramic tiles for the space shuttle. So I'm wondering where you both stand right now, given these incredible tests, both in the field and at the lab, in terms of one end being, this is a possibly explainable piece of ceramic to this is otherworldly, we don't have this technology. Well, you hear intriguing possibilities, but the truth is we're both researching possible explanations.